everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome to my channel. If you don't know, I'm on a journey to be the healthiest and fittest version of myself. Today's video, I'm going to show you how I built my own space saving, easy to set up and super affordable lap pull down and low row system. All you need is a pull up bar to hand the first pulley and some heavy weights to secure the second pulley. And you can find the rest of the parts in Home Depot within $35. I've been using bands to do all of my cable machine exercises since I started to do at-home workouts. And I really miss the cable machine at the gym. So I went on Amazon to find if there is a cheap and space-saving cable machine I can get. And of course, every good quality machines are huge and expensive. When I finally found the one that is closest to what I want, it's sold out. And then I found lots of pulley type of cable systems like this. They are space-saving and more affordable, but I was suspicious about the functionality because I've never tried one of these. I went online and asked about if these kind of pulley systems were worth buying, and uh, the interesting thing was that almost everyone told me that I can just build one myself with very low price. People on the internet were nice enough to give me a reference video to show me how I can build my own cable machine. So I watched the video and thinking, it's really not hard to build, I can definitely do it. I started out with visualizing the cable machine on paper to make sure I know what I need and just to prevent myself from messing it up. And here's everything we need to build this system. A 30 feet long 1 8 of an inch vinyl coated steel wire, 12 steel wire clamps, 4 thimbles and 2 pulleys. Better find the ones you can take the wheels off, so it's easier for you to adjust things later on. And other things like several carabiners. I have lots of carabiners at home already, but if you don't have it, you can get them super cheap at Home Depot. Other things you need is an anchor that can secure your systems on the pull-up bar or part cage. I choose to use TRX anchor because I already have it. And last but not least, some chains to load the weight plates and to secure the pulley. First things first, put the pulley up to make sure your pulley can be set up at the right height. Eventually, I decided to drop the idea of using the TRX anchor because my pull-up bar is not high enough. So I cut my one foot chain in half and used one half as the anchor. Then is the most annoying part, set up the clamps and thimbles on your wire. Take your time. After that, all you need to do is to put a wire and pulley together. Measure how long you need the cable to be. Cut the excessive wire and set up the clamp and thimbles at the unfinished end of the wire. Then load the weight plates on the long chain and hook it onto the wire. So here's my space saving cable system. Next is the low row position. You need to go through the clamps and thimble part again. Then connect your second pulley with a short chain. After putting the wire and the second pulley together, all you need to do is to connect the second wire with the first wire and loop the chain which is on the second pulley around the heavy weight. At this point, make sure how much wire is needed. Loop the wire and then go through the wire, clamps and thimble for the last time. Finally, cut off the excessive wire. Then. You're done, the machine is good to go. If we only count the basic first pulley part of this system, it cost me not even $20, and I can perform that pull down, tricep extension, cable face pull, wood chops, chest fly, and many other exercises with it. For the entire systems, I can also do exercises such as low row, glute kickback, biceps curl, and more. The entire system cost me only $35. As for all the attachments, the lap pull down bar is just a carabiner and a steel pipe, which I've been using for the mobility work. For chest fly, I used the handle of my old shoulder mobility exerciser, which I haven't been using since I got my TRX. The rest of the attachments were all came with an elastic exercise band package. The entire system is easy to set up and stored. It's really a money and space saver for me. 
Let me show you how quick it is for me to put it away. Because I have a small studio, I have to store it away every time I finished using it. It's very important for me that it is easy to store away. And this system is so compact that it makes everything very easy for me. It took me only three minutes to store everything, and I didn't rush. As for setting it up, it's also as quick as storing it. There's only three steps for you to set up this simple cable pulley system. First, hand the first pulley on the pull-up bar. Second, load the weight plate onto the long chain. Remember to leave a tail of your long chain to stabilize the weights, so the weights won't swing around while you are using it. Third, add on the attachment you need for your exercise. Make sure every connections are sturdy and secured. Then you have your basic cable pulley system. The other half of the system takes only four steps for you to set up. First, bring the heavy weight over. Second, secure the second pulley onto the heavy weight. Third, connect the second cable with the first cable. And last, add on the attachment you need for your exercise. Now you're good to go. One thing is very important, is that for the low row position, you need to make sure the weights you used to secure the second pulley is heavy enough so the weights won't move when you pull the cable. And that's it for today's video. I love my new cable systems. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. I'll see you next time. Bye!